Microphone check one two one two. What's up, guys? It is Rodney Brown, and as promised, I am going to be doing a live edit um, with some of the raw photos that you all, all you beautiful people, sent in. Uh, I want to thank everyone so much. I'm gonna do these, do this periodically. So if I didn't feature your photo this time, maybe the next time it will uh, show up. Um, but for right now, I have some awesome photos that I'm going to be editing with my Tones for Human preset pack that I just released last week, about five days ago. The reception has been like really dope. You guys have been awesome. Um, way, way more. You know, it, it's it's more than I could have expected and planned for. So. I want to send a huge thank you out to all you guys. And for the people who are maybe on the edge, maybe thinking about it, and maybe don't even know that I had a preset pack, don't even know who Rodney Brown is, um, that's cool. Hopefully you see this video. Hopefully you see something you like, and um, it, it pushes you over the edge uh, so that you uh, pick them up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, one thing you'll see off the bat is that I am going to just be freestyling here. You know, I have a vague idea of what I might do with some of these, but for the most part, uh, I'm going to kind of just freestyle and uh, see how it goes as I go. I want you guys to be able to see like what my thought process is. What am I thinking about when I'm editing an image? Uh, most of these, I believe, are going to be probably one click um, and then, you know, fix expo exposure, of course, temperature and tint. Um, on some of them might be a tiny bit more. Um, but that's just editing in general. No matter what preset you use, you're going to have to do a little tiny bit of something. You know, like for instance, if you have a really like strong backlit image, you might have to bump up the contrast because it washes things out. Sometimes you might have to do a couple things to even the skin tone. If you have mixed lighting, you know, there's always going to be something. Um, but what I'm proud of with these presets is that they're a really, really solid starting point. So... I think you'll find that no matter what, you'll be able to uh, find something that's pleasing as far as skin tones go and something that's pretty like versatile and like dynamic. So let's go ahead and get started. My first picture is from the Arroyos, Josh and Sam. They're a husband wife team out of California. They're in incredible. I have a couple images of, uh, of theirs in here because... They sent me them, and I was crazy about them, so I was like, I, I can't just do one. So I, I think this is over in Yosemite. I was looking at this, and I was like, let's go ahead and use Uno on that. Um, first thing you notice is a little dark. In the original preset pack, I have um, an underexposed version of Uno, um, and I realized that maybe I should make an underexposed version of each of the other ones. And so that's something that's going to be updated fairly soon. Um, and it's going to go out to everyone who's already purchased them. So you don't have to purchase them again or anything. Um, but for the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and add the normal Uno onto it. And it's a little dark. So what we're going to do is we're just going to raise up that exposure just a little bit. If you want it on the bright and contrasty side, boom, that's done. Um, we could totally, you know, put the tint. A little toward the magenta to kind of you know give a little life and warmth to those uh, to the skin maybe mat it out a little bit by adjusting those whites you could touch the warmth a tiny bit more if you want to give it some put some extra sauce on it I mean for the most part I think that's 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 cool to me that's cool to me Let's do before, after, before, after. I dig that. Let's go ahead and make that a little bigger just so we have a little bit more space to work with. Should have done that before I started recording, but oh well. That's real life for you. Beautiful. So that was done with Uno. Um, Next, what I think we were going to go into is this guy. I love this photo with this family. Um... This one is by Alexandra Doger. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Um, really awesome photo. It's got a lot of blues in it um, from the smoke bomb. And I thought this would be perfect 
for uh, shooting, um, well, using Uno as well because Uno really retains a lot of the blues. A lot of times I end up taking a lot of blues out of my images, but for sometimes when I want those blues, um, Uno is like perfect for that. So let's go ahead and pop that thing on. Um, and we're going to have to raise the exposure. Sweet. Raise the temperature a little bit. Oh, I dig that. That's real cute. Look at them. Look at them all happy. Yeah, that's real cute. We can maybe fix the tint just a tiny bit. Um, honestly, when it comes to these presets, um, you could use the tint either way you want to. Sometimes I want it to be more on the green side. Sometimes I'm going to put it more on the magenta side. When it goes to the magenta side, what it really does is it ends up giving it a tiny bit more life to the to the skin. Um, and it really kind of warms it up more than anything. Um, and... Uh, I like that either, you know, with it, with a bit more high exposure, you know, and you're starting to get the them glowy whites, and I like them a little patted down too. I can go either way with that, but I really love that image. I love that sweet, 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 sweet. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go into uh, this guy. Wait, no, no, we're gonna go into this. Um, picture in Maui from Stephanie Bedstall. I think that's Stephanie Bedstall, if, if I'm saying that right. Um, she sent me some pretty sweet pictures from out in Maui. And so what we're going to do here is, for this one, we're going to apply wavy. So that looks really dark off the bat. Um, the picture is a little bit underexposed, um, but that's okay because we have this exposure slider and that is what it's there for. So we're adding that wavy has a lot of those greens still inside of it so all we got to do from here is really just add some of that that heat back heat it up a little bit i think this one will look a lot better with the magentas added to it a little bit of that look at that i adjust the shadows just up a little bit No, let's bring that back up. Yeah, warm that up now. Now we're cooking. There we go. Now I think that looks good. So we're going to do before, after, before, and after. I really dig that. Thank you, Stephanie. Awesome, awesome photo. Um, So from here... Um, we're actually going to do one of my images. Now you see this is crazy underexposed. Um, I end up doing that a lot, sometimes on purpose. A lot of times it's on accident just because I'm moving a little too fast. That's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, this was out in Portland. I really like all the greens out in Portland. But what we're going to do is uh, we are going to, uh, all I did really too is I just cropped it. That's all I did. Um, and so what we're going to do is... Let me crop that back. Okay. Um, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to add Sweet. Sweet is uh, my more understated and... Um, actually, what am I talking about? This sweet, so Sweet is the trendy one. Sorry, I can't think and edit at the same one same time it's more on the trendy side of things it's a little bit more uh desaturated a little bit um on the matted down side with a little bit of higher contrast um but sometimes you want that look so i really like that with just adding it on and not doing much else to it i might add a little bit of warmth to that you know He's got some highlights in his skin that are a little bright to me. I might bring that down. Yeah, I really like that. I don't mind putting the exposure two, three stops up. Um, that's something that I'm real cool with because 
it does bring out some finer grain, some grit. Um, and you 